Okay, y'all, we're getting closer. So here is our apple marmalade that has cooled room temperature. You don't want to put it in the tart pan while it's still hot. So um, I've chilled my um, dough here in the fridge for oh probably half an hour to an hour. You want to make sure that's chilled somewhat so it bakes a little better. But I'll go ahead and spread this marmalade, which is delicious, in this tart. Um, and lined with our lovely uh, pate brise and I don't know if I'm going to need all of it. I might not put quite all of this apple marmalade in. I feel like that's enough. I sort of like a thin layer to be honest. So spreading it evenly, it looks pretty good. Now I'm going to arrange our apples that we sliced thin and a lot of them are quite even in size. And I just want to show you this. So I'm overlapping with the round side out. So you can see that's how it is. And I'm going to do that until they go all the way around and then have an inner circle and then a, maybe a little sort of rosebud in the center. Okay, so now you will see that I am arranging these slices starting with the outside edge first. And I like to find the longer slices to use around the outside. And uh, sometimes I have to sort of um, slice some of those slices in half even, so they're a little thinner than they originally were. And you really wanna pack them in. Um, the apples will shrink a little when they bake. So feel free to just pack them in and overlap them like this. And um, see, I'm packing a little more in there. Um, for this tart, I think it's a, a nine inch tart pan. Uh, I get two solid rows of sliced apples, and then in the middle, I'll just put some little short pieces. Um, and I, earlier, I called it a rose, but it's just like a little spiral group of shorter pieces of apple in the middle. All right, look how close we're getting. Um, so I took a lot of care and arranged these apples in these little concentric circles. I'm going to place this on a baking pan and bake it in a hot oven to start and then I'll turn the temperature back. Um, I also sprinkled the apples with sugar. I think that'll help it brown a little bit on top and just who doesn't love a little more sugar. Alright, so we're getting ready for our final um, pictures of our beautiful apple tart. All right, y'all, we're in the final step here. So here is the apple tart. It came out of the oven about an hour ago, so it's cooled somewhat. And I am uh, heating up the apricot glaze. And what I use is just um, Smucker's apricot preserves. They're great. So I put about a quarter cup of preserves in here along with a tablespoon or two of water. I'm heating it up so it's um, thinned out and then I will um, use the sieve to get the lumps out and then brush the top of the apple tart with the pastry brush. So we're almost done. Very exciting. Okay, final step. I've uh, sieved out the lumps from the apricot glaze and I have this fabulous pastry brush that I got from the Happy Cook. And now it's the fun part, and I'm going to go ahead and brush this on, starting from the middle, going out, and we'll just work our way around, and we'll do it, making sure that that apricot glaze sort of gets into all those little nooks and crannies, all the way around, and uh, look how pretty it's looking. Don't you love it? I think any time of year is great for apple tart. You know, apples don't just have to be for the fall. I think because this is sort of a light and refreshing version of an apple dessert, it's perfect for the springtime. Um, and again, I love using the Granny Smith apples because they're just so tart and crisp. Um, to me, they're just the best for a baked dessert like this. Um, I feel like I could have baked the tart maybe just a little bit longer, but I was worried about it starting to get brown around these, so I think it's good enough. All right. Y'all, 
y'all. This looks fabulous. You did a great job. I'm so pleased. Look at it. And there you go. This dessert you can serve right away. Um, I would go ahead and refrigerate it overnight, though. If you know, if you don't finish it all in the first sitting, you'll want to uh, store it in the refrigerator. Thanks for joining me. It was really fun.